Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the Internet's Ultimate Archive website called the Wayback Machine. If you've ever wanted to know what a website looked like in the past, this site is a great tool to use. So the website we are going to use is web.archive.org or you could also Google search for the Wayback Machine. web.archive.org this is their main website. All you have to do is simply type in a website or a keyword in the search bar here and hit enter. So let's say we want to look back and see how Facebook has looked throughout the years. So I'm going to type in facebook.com. So up here at the top there is a list of years and some of these years have black bars and some of them do not. So if you find a year here like the late 90s that are completely gray, it means that there are no screen captures of how that website looked at this point in time. And then the years with the biggest black bars are the ones where there are a lot of screen captures during those years of how that website looked. So we can click on any year to get started. Let's say we wanted to look at 2018. And it's going to bring up your calendar here with a lot of circles. So every date that is circled means that there is an archive of the web page on that date. The bigger circles mean that there are a lot of screen captures on that date. And the smaller circles, like you see here, have a smaller amount of screen captures taken on that date. But if you hover over every circle, it tells you how many snapshots there are of that date, and it also gives you the times that these screenshots were taken, and this works on a 24-hour clock. So for today, I want to look at 2000, and I want to go and see what it looked like on September 15th. It looks like there's one snapshot, so all you have to do is just click on the time right here, and then it's going to load the web page. So this is what Facebook looked like on September 15th, 2000, back when it was called About Face. So Facebook has gone through a huge transformation and it's just kind of fun to look back and see what it used to be. Sometimes the hyperlinks on the page will work, but they only work if the page that this takes you to was screen captured in the past as well. So you can always click on these and it'll either tell you if there's no information available or it will take you to that web page. So let's click on this hyperlink and see if it works. All right, and it looks like this hyperlink worked and this was their setup page, but it changed us to a different date up here in the black box here is the current date. So February 8th, 2001 was when this screenshot was taken. But let's go back to the main website. So I'm just gonna hit the back button here. All right, we are back on Facebook's main page. So up at the top here in the corner, you can go through screenshots on different dates by clicking the arrow key, and that will take you to the next screen capture. And you can go forward or backwards if you would like. But also we have the grid on the left-hand side of this, which is very similar to what we had on the main web page for Wayback Machine. So if you hover over this, it's gonna give you a list of dates, and you can see in this black box, our date is gonna change as well as we move our mouse around. So we can also just jump to a different date in the year as well by just clicking anywhere where there's black here. All right, and we have jumped to May 31st, 2017. As you can see, Facebook looks completely different. It even has a different name now. And this is how it looked on May 31st, 2017. So this concludes our overview of the Internet's Archive. This is a very fun website to play around with and look and reminisce a little bit. If you have any questions, you can always contact your local library and we would be happy to assist you.